corporate producer directly into the doctor's pocket. It's going through this third party clinic. And, you know, what's the difference, really? I mean, and then and then I, I heard just recently that they've got uh, they're they're now trying to push these low THC strains uh, because uh, in my opinion, they're not selling very good. So the doctors are now restricting THC when they prescribe it and send them to a licensed producer because this low THC stuff isn't moving and they need to move it. It's got nothing to do with protecting the patient. I, I see duffel bags full of money going around in circles here, personally. Uh, uh, it's horrible. I think, I don't know if it, it would get more respect when the college actually uh, treats it as medicine and gives it a DIN number. I, I don't know. If, I, I don't understand. Well, you got to wonder if it gets a DIN number and it's going through the insurance and it's available for people who are on ODSP, so on and so forth. Would it get to the point where patients, the access problem would be eliminated yes. and patients could lose the right to grow? Yeah. I think at that point, it would be a, a fight for our autonomy and, and, that, and it would also be in a legal format. So in a legal Canada, then we'd be able to fight for autonomy. With the for a way to choose and why is it illegal to grow a legal plant at that point, right? Happy 420. Happy 420. I didn't turn. I turned my alarm off, guys. Cheers. A tip of the vape pen to you. That's <laughs> good. It didn't he, uh, go off. Quickly, one more thing before we let you go, Justin. Uh, uh, just, just compassion. Yes, just compassion is my compassion club. I'm a sick man. I suffer from multiple sclerosis. And I've had to travel all different compassion clubs, dispensaries, the good, the bad. And all I know is that there's a certain type of club that needed to exist. So I had created it. But it was basically um, through seeing so many of my friends doing what I think is amazing and copying them and just creating something that's more of, of a resource center than an actual compassion club. Just really trying to help patients. Yeah, get them educated, anybody who's looking for information. And, uh, and that, so everything's going good then you haven't uh, been uh, as far as you know we talked to other places today the raids and all that stuff yeah I feel like I'm going to be setting up a protest for the 25th and I hope everyone's going to come out for that in front of City Hall. Hall yeah so I think we get a lot of support for that and I want to back everyone up but I think there may be some reasons why some clubs are getting affected and why others aren't so for myself I mean I haven't been affected and uh, I run a pretty tight ship I'm also zoned industrial because the only place you can actually have a medical uh, anything is an industrial zoning. So I opened my club and as yeah. <laughs> Why the city hasn't visited you? One of the reasons, yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'm super. My address isn't listed. You need to prove your documentation before I even give you my address. So it'd be hard to get in the door, right? Yeah. And I go back old school, the old MMAR style, the way it used to be. No one paid attention to us before. And I honestly feel, Al, that as soon as the legalization comes, the, the backs of the sick that were being stepped on to get to these new heights will be left. And we'll be back into systems where you can actually take care of each other and heal. If it's available yeah. to everybody, then everybody can feel better. <laughs> yeah. If, if it just fixes the doctor gateway uh, issue, I would be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There's always, you know, it, it, there's always a, a way to get it. And being, having your ticket, your license, whatever you want to call it, it lifts so much pressure, so much stress, so much paranoid away from you. Because even, it does. even if you do get approached by someone uh, of authority or even somebody, a, a public person, uh, and they, and they say, Hey, what are you doing? Uh, you can say I, I'm doing something that I am legally allowed to do here in Canada. That's yep. what I'm doing. And, and, oh, yeah. my, and my contribution is going to be that uh, when I signed up with the ACMPR, I designated indoor and outdoor. Uh, I did it for storage reasons, but I'm still going to put those six plants in my backyard. And I live in a subdivision. Okay. Ah, so good. Yeah. So basically, I'm making a statement. If they go missing, I don't care because I, I didn't really actually designate outdoor because I wanted to necessarily grow outdoor. Yeah. I did it for other reasons. So, you know, uh, but it's going to make a statement to everybody in my neighborhood and in my little uh and, backwoods town. And knowing that, you, Ross, you're going to tr you're going to choose the stinkiest strains you can find. The biggest stinkiest <laughs> strain I can find. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, Alrighty, guys. 
you got uh, we can probably talk to Justin for uh, quite a while, but we should be moving on. I'm sure. Yep. We just grabbed him. You might have some place where he wants to. Yep. Well, thank you, Justin. Uh, yeah, good talking no to you again, Justin. And uh, we'll we'll get you on uh, our shows. I'm sure Al would love to have you on the show. Oh, sure, anytime. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, and I always appreciate. It. I love what you guys are doing, and keep doing it. Keep yeah, going okay. strong. Thank you, you too. All right. That's right. It's all about everybody Not- has different ways of doing things. And- Nice to finally together. meet you, by the way. Exactly. Aha. Uh-huh. We met. Uh, we met at Stony Lake, I believe. All three of us, Al. He he was. You were at. You were at Stony Lake, Justin. Yes. I donated. Oh, to that. that's Pace right. Donated. We were sitting there yeah. yapping yeah. and smoking. Yeah. We all met. We met there, Justin and, and Al Rap and yeah. uh, myself, and you were there, and uh, yeah, that was that was fun. Wow. Well, nice to see yeah. you again. You know what we How's should do. That? We should. We should maybe. Uh, get in further contact and take this conversation further, you know? Yeah, sure. I thought sure, that was a great sure. uh, meeting initially, and I thought that was a bit of a we're all there. We we're all on Facebook. Uh, I think get the concept and the format was great, yep. and, and it should be repeated. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Maybe this summer we'll do something. Yeah. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Yeah. Be yeah. broadcasted. But yeah, uh, yes. well, I, what I'd like to do is something like we did there. But it be it open mic and actually give people a way to listen to some of these people that are at these events that you only get to hear if you pay money to go see. Uh, oh, that a, is a an good idea. Open mic roundtable with people like Dr. Bob. Speaking of which, we have Dr. Bob on this Friday at 7 o'clock live for two hours. He's going to sit here and gab with us. Uh, if you get five or six people of that caliber, which they do... But you get five or six people of that caliber that aren't going to yeah, charge you three hundred and fifty dollars to come and hear you speak. That's um, a difference. Yeah. Revolver. Right. He's, he's being asked, and people are coming up and rubbing the plant and yeah. ask him about it. Uh, what do you think? We're live on the radio. What do you think? It's a nice plant. I want to be its friend. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good guy. Feels yeah. good. There you go. You got uh, somebody's you go. opinion on what he's got going here. <laughs> Just, you just can't do the visual on the radio. That's all. You know what I got to say to your plant? Oh. Yeah, there'll be pictures to put oh. up later on. So. All right, Justin, I'm going to let you go, man. It was great talking to you. Thanks, Justin. My pleasure. Thank man. you. My pleasure, guys. And we'll talk more in the near future, I hope. Oh, for sure. Let's when, get when, something when, together, yeah. Yep, for sure, for yep, sure. Yeah, yeah. They'll get you guys to get something together. We'll be in contact. Super. Bye-bye. Thank you. There you go. Oh, sorry. Oh, see, guys, there's still a bit of a crowd here. Yeah, so, unfortunately, a bonehead forgot to hit the speaker. So we've been going live. Uh, we've been live, but the second half is going to be shorter than it should be. Oh, uh, so then. Oh, uh, so Justin's interview wasn't recorded then. Uh, most of it was. Oh, okay. Yep, some of it. Right, well, um, okay. Well, it's four twenty. It's past four twenty. Yep. What's it, is, are uh, people leaving there now? I think I should. I got to deal with some business here, guys. I should. Uh, we can go get that done. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. We're gonna call it a wrap, Al. Yes, we call are. it a wrap. <laughs> we're gonna call it a wrap. <laughs> now, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll take one more lap around. Okay. To see if I can find an organizer, and then I'll. I'll and then that way we'll call it a wrap. Will you? Will right. you sing while you're walking? Tell Kim, I'll be right back. <laughs> tell Tell Kim I'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I just well, you just heard me say it. I'll be right back. And my friend looks at me and says, "Oh, I've heard that before." <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think Arnold Schwarzenegger said that once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay. I'll be back. Yeah, I see. I see. There's a lift ward here for the best ash. There's a what? Where? The wide way? Yeah, lift. Someone has a lift award for the yeah. best hash. I'll tell you what the best hash was was the two ounce slab that was put in my hands yesterday of <laughs> Afghani direct from Afghanistan. It was so shiny on the outside, you could almost see your reflection in it. You know what, Ross? Yeah, you're supporting criminals. No, I'm supporting our armed forces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> How do you think it gets here? <laughs> I don't know. Let's tell our uh, listeners. 
<laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. I just said, you know, that's one potential route, right? I mean, <laughs> there's tons Ships. of different ways it can go. Well, I, I was at a, one of these early conventions when I started getting involved in things, and they had uh, Rosie Rosen um, on there, and he taught, told, told the story about how they smuggled the hash in and, and the uh, tags on the doors and paying people off. And mm-hmm. They, yeah, I've had, pretty, I've had pretty. over the last few years, I've had several slabs of Af- Afghani hash with the gold seal on it, the whole bit put in my hand, not to keep, nice. not to keep, unfortunately, <laughs> but to look <laughs> yeah, at, to look at, and fondle for a few minutes and then hand back. Oh, I gotta take a picture, man. <laughs> my friends will never believe me. I scanned, I scanned the one. You no, know, it's like you know, like those, those guys who go fishing, come up with a big fish. Yep, but. Yeah, really. It was a sunfish, man. Yeah. It was. So it wasn't anything. Ro- Ross has a big hash hash brick story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got the biggest brick of hash. When it comes to bricks of hash, nobody does bricks of hash better than me. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just channeling. Uh, yeah, the Donald there. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I just uh, I almost completed my second lap around. Well, I think we'll call it then. Yeah. Ding ding ding, okay. ding 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 ding. You know, we, we, we were at least you know we were able to get Sarah you know, on beforehand. You know, you had her on the 420 uh, radio show. Yes, we did. Um, yes, and and we'll have and, her on again. Uh, I'll have her on once she's over de-stressed and um, exactly and, you know. de-stressed and everything is you know yeah yeah, yeah it's gonna, it's gonna be even though this ends here visually. It's still going to, you know, there's still more work to be done. You know, well, you. Yep. when you organize and run an events, man. You know what we um, need now, is we need a, a winter event. That's in Ontario. Not, I mean, there's lots of winter events that go on out west, of course, on the ski slopes. But there's nothing that happens really here in the winter. So we need a winter 420. How about 420 winter? What about, how? yeah, well, what would we do about our smoking laws, though? can't smoke inside unless you want people to stand we outside. will do it we i know we will do the 420 ice castle hotel <laughs> <laughs> that might be a bit of a push in toronto because uh you know they do get some mild weather in the winter who said anything about yeah. toronto yeah they did. if it was in quebec city maybe hey, i no, can there's remember a, there's uh, a thought <laughs> you know niagara falls i remember guys telling me about going to niagara falls uh golfing like in, in early February, and I'm going, exactly. what? Yeah. Oh, uh, sure. I just got a it joint re- passed to me. Well, there you go. Oh, that's that's a shame, Al. You shouldn't have to put up with that. I know. Eh? Isn't that, <laughs> that's, that's, that's rough. That's I know. part of the job. You know, but it, oh. it goes with the territory. You have to do what you have to do. Yes. Yeah, you do. That's right. That's so, right. gentlemen. Thank you very much. We, shall we say goodbye? I will. Uh, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking for my uh, <coughs> smooth, huh? <laughs> I guess we're still walking around. Y- yeah. Oh, okay. There, there, there's my uh, there's my business friend. I gotta deal with my shirts and my other friend's shirts. And <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Ah, oh, Brian. <laughs> say, say good night, Al. Uh, sometimes it's always better to ask before you take it. <laughs> yeah, or take smaller tokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, um, so let's just wrap things up, I guess, here from uh, the Karma Cup, five twelve Church Street, downtown Toronto. It's been a blast, guys. This is always an exciting thing to do. Yeah, I had fun too. Thanks, Al. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I wish it, I could have been here more, but I, I did enjoy the short time I spent with you guys. Well, it gives it gives you a little sampling, so you're back for the next one. Yeah, I will be. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah. Thanks everybody for listening. <laughs> hey, Ross. Um, Ross. Yeah. Next year, we're gonna need a boat. We're gonna need a bigger boat. No, we're gonna need a boat. <laughs> just a boat. <laughs> just a boat. Okay. Uh, just a boat. <laughs> will a dinghy? Will a dinghy do? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I set it out in the trend. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm going to go for a ride down the Humber. <laughs> oh, woo. That'll be a rough ride. And on that note, good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye.